Episode 2. Because of that incident, Youngbin had to be admitted to hospital for treatment. Seon was taken by his teacher to apologize to Youngbin's parents. But Youngbin's mother kept scolding him because she was furious at him. Seon told her that he was drugged with a fentanyl by Youngbin while they were taking an examination. At first, Youngbin denied that the fentanyl was his, but Seon proved what he said by rummaging in Youngbin's bag. A box of fentanyl was found in his bag. Youngbin's mother was shocked to see that. Finally, the school decided to transfer Youngbin to another school. They also agreed to keep this incident of drug use by their student as a secret to keep their good reputation. When Seon returned home, he didn't say anything about what happened at school that day. Seon's father suspected that Seon had gotten into a fight, but he didn't care about it. He thought it was a normal thing that happened among teenagers. The next day, two of Young Bin's friends approached Seon angrily. They asked him to meet them after school, but without a single fear, Seon asked them to meet him right at that time. They didn't need to wait until the school was over. With angry faces, Young Bin's friends followed Seon into a bathroom. Seon closed the bathroom's door so nobody could see them. They didn't realize that Seon had brought his favorite weapon, which was his pen. As Seon was walking toward them step by step, they were getting intimidated by him. They remembered the incident where Seon was getting out of control. They couldn't move their body when they remembered it. Apparently, Seon didn't want to attack them. He only told them to leave him alone. When Seon came out of the bathroom, all of his classmates praised him for defeating Young Ben and his group. Seon was annoyed by them because suddenly they were being friendly to him. All this time, they had ostracized him and pretended like he didn't exist. Young Bin was visited by his cousin. Suk Dae warned Young Bin to not overdo anything. Young Bin asked Suk Dae to beat up Seon. He would pay him if he was willing to do it. At night, when Seon was heading home, he saw Su working part-time, apparently, apart from being a student, Su also worked part-time as a food delivery courier at a restaurant. After school, he would go to work so he could earn some money to survive. Since he lost his parents, he only lived with his grandmother. But after he finished working, he didn't come home. He chose to sleep at school instead because he would come late to school if he slept at home. After Seon found out about Su's story, he didn't wake him up every morning anymore. He appreciated his effort so he let him sleep for more before everyone came. Seon and Su became closer to each other since then. However, Seon still didn't get used to be open with other people. Youngbin met Suk Dae to talk about the job he offered him yesterday. Suk Dae was a member of a collection agency who lent money and collected debt, so he was down to do any high-paying job. After school, Bum Suk tried to apologize to Seon for what he had done. He offered himself to accompany Seon to go to another school for a tutoring, but Seon ignored him. Suddenly, Seon was stopped by Young Ben and Suk Dae's gang. They took Seon with them. After Bum Suk saw that, he reported it immediately to Su Hu. At first, Su Hu didn't care because it wasn't his business. He also had to go to work after this. But after Bum Suk said that he would pay him double of his salary, Su Hu changed his mind. He was looking for Seon immediately. In a quiet alley, Seon was being intimidated by Suk Dae and his gang. Since Seon was a person who had always analyzed and calculated his actions, he managed to fight them back. But when Seon dropped his guard, he was getting attacked again. Young Bing used this moment to take revenge on him by beating him up relentlessly. He also tried to break Seon's hand so he couldn't study. But suddenly, Su came to save Seon. He managed to defeat Young Ben and his friends with his skills, but their fight wasn't over. Suk Dae asked Su Hu to fight one by one. <laughs> 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 
When young Ben and his friends saw Sean alone, they wanted to beat him up again. The situation was getting worse. Young Ben wanted to attack Sean with a bottle. Sue couldn't stop him because Sook Day kept attacking him. Luckily, Bum Sook suddenly came to save Sean. Yeah, 자고를 치면 안 좋팔리냐? 어? 팔려서 뒤질 것 같은데. 뭐 하냐고? 안녕. Sook Day finally left and decided to let Seeyun and his friends go. Meanwhile, Young Bin just stood there and realized that he had lost again. Since that incident, Seeyun and the others became closer to each other. Su took Bum Sook and Seeyun to the restaurant where he was working. He told them to help him working because they made him late to go to work. They spent their night together by having dinner at that restaurant. But as usual, Sian still didn't get used to spend time with people. To be continued.